If you guys only have 100 to 120 dollars to spend and you want to get gaming in 2021, then uh, this is your option. Let's see what it can do. All right, as I was saying, this Optiplex here is 100 to 120 dollars on eBay. That would be a solid price for you guys to pay, especially in 2021, because everything is hard to come by at a reasonable price. And this is an all right price. So for $120, you get this Optiplex here. It has an i5-3470. It's a four core, four threaded processor, third generation. And later down the road, if you did want to upgrade, you could upgrade all the way up to an i7-3770. You could do the K version of that CPU, but in this Optiplex here, eh, not the best option. So that's for the CPU. RAM, you can normally find it with eight gigs of DDR3 memory. Uh, eight gigs is all right for some light gaming, but if you did want to upgrade later down the road, as I was saying, you can upgrade to 16 gigabytes, which will give even more performance. And then for the graphics card, well, there is none. Because at $120, that's like the price of a graphics card for at least a decent one. So we're gonna be running off the integrated graphics off this i5-3470 and seeing what it can do. And then showing an upgrade version if you have more money later down the line and what kind of performance you can expect. And then for storage, these Optiplexes here, they do come with some hard drives. Some of them you can find with SSDs or sometimes you can find them without hard drives and get it a little bit cheaper. And then just buy like a 500 gigabyte SSD because those are really cheap right now. Every, everything's on sale for SSDs. Uh, you can find a 500 gigabyte hard drive from like 50 to $60 and that'll be really good. But for this Optiplex, it did come with a 500 gigabyte Seagate hard drive, which will be all right. But later down the road, you wanna upgrade, throw in a 120 gigabyte SSD and you'll definitely see some performance and um, just overall better experience because it'll be faster. So uh, with these base components here, let's uh, see what this little rig can do. All right, so getting Fortnite loaded up, I was not able to get MSI Afterburner to work. It was not working at all. So there's no on-screen display here for at least the first half of it, I'm sorry. But I do have enabled the show FPS in Fortnite so we can kind of get an idea. But we're running everything low, except we're gonna try to get epic view distance on the performance mode. So let's hop into a game. All right, so on the bus now, we're getting 17 FPS. Uh, let's go ahead and drop. <laughs> so I did limit it to 30 FPS <clears throat> to maybe help with, I don't know, performance, less uh, hitches and jumps and stuff. Um, as you can see here, Looks like total ass. <laughs> you see, there's like lasers and all over the screen, so it's definitely messed up. But keep in mind, we are in 1080p, so we will drop it down to 720 in just a little bit. All right, let's see if we can get a kill. Ah, uh, it's a bot. Oops. <laughs> oh, this is unplayable. so bad uh, let's drop the resolution down to 720 now okay so that is not much better at all oh got a headshot oh this is intense all right so that was Fortnite. I think the average was probably 20, 20 FPS <laughs> in 1920 and 720, or 1080 and 720. So uh, let's hop over to Valorant now. All right, so first loading into Valorant, kind of looks bad. <laughs> so we're gonna be testing it in 1080p again. Graphics, everything is already on low. So uh, sadly, the MSI Afterburner were not working here either. I don't know why it's not working. 
but it's just not. But as we see, it's already way better than Fortnite. No like artifacting or random lights going across the screen. Oh, nice. We still managed to get a kill. That headshot. Let's go. So yeah, I would say Valorant is definitely playable, which is awesome, honestly. A lot of people play Valorant, a lot of people like it. It's nice to know you don't need much to play it. Like I said, this PC should only cost around like 100 to $120 and you can play Valorant. Let's drop the resolution down to 720 and see if it's any better. In my opinion, it looks the same. Honestly, this game is running really smooth. <laughs> Oh, I just died though. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, Valorant's definitely playable. Fortnite, on the other hand, um, I don't know if you guys remember the last clip, but it was kind of trash. So, if you have this PC, I'm sorry. You probably cannot play. You, you can play Fortnite. Is it fun? No, definitely not fun to play it on this machine. But Valorant and CSGO, you can definitely probably play these games. As you can see here, Valorant's running really smooth. But, uh, if you have any more money, let's uh, see what kind of upgrades you can do. So let's cut to me talking about the upgrades and uh, see what kind of performance you can expect. Sorry you guys had to watch that slideshow. <laughs> it was hard for me to play and record it. I was like, damn, this sucks. It's kind of like Cyberpunk on the release day on the consoles. <laughs> But anyways, leave a like down below because uh, that was hard for me to do. So you have $250 to spend. Let's see what kind of upgrades you can get. Turn off the graphics card. If you manage to get a 1050 Ti low profile, make sure it's low profile because you don't need any external PSU connector. So it runs straight from the motherboard. These can normally be found around $100 to $150 on eBay, but snagging it for $100 to $120 is what you really want to get it for. And then you want to upgrade the RAM. So grabbing 8 gigs of DDR3. These can be found for like $15 to $20 on eBay. $15, you know, being the better price. This will upgrade your system to 16 gigs of RAM and 16 versus eight is way better for gaming. The next and final upgrade is an SSD here. So SSDs are really cheap. I don't recommend buying used SSDs, but getting a new one, 128 gigs, around like 20 to $30 on Amazon, brand new. A lot of the times they're on sale or even 500 gigabyte SSDs for around like 50 to $60 on Amazon. Super good deal. Down below I have some links to ones that are on sale. So those are all the upgrades. They're super simple as I was saying. Basically drop in upgrades and I'm gonna just show you guys how to do it. And also there's a cloning software to clone your hard drive to your SSD so you don't have to reinstall Windows or anything. All right, so having Fortnite up now, we're gonna go epic view distance, everything else still low. But instead this time, we're not on the performance mode, we're on DirectX 11, and we got MSI Afterburner working. So, let's see the performance difference. As uh, you remember from the last one, the slideshow, <laughs> the nice little PowerPoint I had for you guys. Um, it was around like 20 FPS average, but uh, let's see what we get now. All right, so in the air right now, we're at 100 FPS. Uh, we didn't reach that at all without the graphics card. <laughs> the max is probably like 22. Sweet, there's a llama here. So as you see in the frame rate, the little graph up there, you can see it is not steady at all. To make it more steady, you could probably limit the frame rate instead of having it at unlimited, limit it to around like 144 or something like that. 
Because, yeah, I just took all my mats. Are you kidding me? Oh, I got him. <laughs> that guy sucks. So as you see here, you get way more FPS. Way better. All right, let's go on to Valorant now. All right, so hopping in over on Valorant now. As you can see, we're way above 100 FPS right off the bat. Sorry, the MSI afterburner. It's been giving me problems today, but uh, it's super small up in the top left corner. You can see the FPS up there, maybe. <laughs> So we're on all low settings and 1080p this time, <clears throat> which is super awesome. So uh, let's talk about it. So the first PC, the $100, $220 one, you know, it can play Valorant, you guys saw that. But uh, once we started trying to play anything more demanding, Fortnite, it's not, it's not super demanding, but it's more demanding than Valorant. So if you want to play more demanding games than Valorant, I do not recommend the $100, $220 PC. I would recommend this on the other hand. This is actually pretty good for a beginner PC, something you can actually get your hands on today, uh, other than new stuff, because, uh, you know, that's a joke. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, I recommend this definitely for 200, around $250. Snag this up if you want it. If you don't have a PC and this is your only option, go ahead. But with all that being said, man, uh, everyone uh, go down below drop a like please um maybe hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed it um but come back next time and uh catch you later